Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Fights in Tight Spaces for some fights in tight spaces. This time, we're going to be so aggressive that we definitely will not get punched to death. L listen, you can spend your whole life trying to play defense, or you can punch other people to death first, and then how are they, how are they going to do it to you if they're dead? The, uh, I guess the answer is they could be a skeleton. Didn't really think about that. Don't don't have a plan if that occurs. Right now, let, let's let's just focus on the problem in front of us. Uh, so we have a pretty solid slip here. Is there a version of this where I? No, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything particularly tricky here. We're just going to punch real hard, just a huge amount of punching. Uh, so this guy ignores block, removes combo. Couldn't remember what the knife did. Okay, well, they don't really have a ton of health, do they? Uh, so I guess we steal self into a heavy strike, which is going to be pretty solid. I think we're actually going to hit this guy with the heavy strike, because it is enough to knock him out. And then we'll start up on you. I think that's a pretty solid open. That is not a useful space for you to drop into, friend. Um, so, a left spin kick will bounce this guy... For lethal, right? His head hit his friend's shoulder so hard that it actually killed him. Uh, and then I suppose we could dash for it. We're, we're just... We're not going to be able to virtuous circle, right? Oh, actually, I guess I have... Um, that's right, I have a ton of momentum because we did hook last turn. So if we dash... Hmm. And not like, not like we need to virtuous circle, but I do want to. So, like, if we front kick this guy, and then pull him, and then just separate again. No, no, I was, I'm just kidding. Get back over there. Now we at least get to do this thing. We get to have 11 combo. That's not a thing that happens very frequently. <clears throat> and I think we're in, like, real good shape for getting this done in time for the secondary objective. So, do we have anything that... Oh, man... That's a good 540. Um, is there a way that we could... Mm, there's really not, huh? We're not, we're not going to be able to set it up so we can hit both of them with it. Well, that's a shame. Uh, we do, however, have lots and lots and lots of kill here. Let's just nail this guy for 32. Just a <laughs> casual 32. No big deal. Gain 22 block, but do 2 damage to self. Hmm. You know, if you if you can hold 22 block over a turn... I, I was at first going to say, boy, when are you going to need that much all at once? But yeah, if you can spend it over 2 turns, that is interesting. I don't think we want this, but I don't think it's a bad card. The, I think the real... What we have here is grapple versus skip, I'm pretty sure. I do really love... Yeah, I really love the positional stuff. My biggest concern is that, of course, you know, there's danger to putting too many cards in your deck. So we want to pursue the upper path here, because we're going to likely want to, um... I guess, actually, if we go shower block, we can go walkway, walkway into the gym. I might do that, because the events don't seem great, and I do like... I do like the fighting, though. I suppose probably events aren't going to do a huge amount of damage to you, and also, this is where the bad thing happened last time. But like, why would I not? Why would I not do more level? <laughs> I enjoy the level. So this is a really interesting situation for separate. How much health do these guys have? Twenty six each. Can we put together a kill here? Unfortunately, um, we have no attacks that don't move people. I mean, like we don't have enough. Sorry, we have heavy strike into separate or front kick, but neither one of those quite quite gets the job done. Well, I suppose, unless I throw up a uh, throw up one of these first, we can just bounce that guy off, and then we'll uh, figure out the rest later. I mean, we probably should. I probably should just pass here. Oh, I'm actually out of momentum. Well, then I should definitely pass here. I was talking about like pass here versus step up and separate, like just, you know, push him back again. I like this situation. We have a lot of room to run in both directions here. So, 
We're not going to be able to wall jump punch in any useful way. This guy has 20 health left. I mean, like, I could slip here, wall jump punch him, I guess, and then... Yeah, actually, that'll get us on jumping back kick. That's that's not bad. Since uh, slip doesn't count as... It doesn't deplete your combo like movement, right? If we wall jump punch... Then do a quick strike. We can just wrap this dude up. Although maybe I should have slipped first, because using slip to just walk a space will totally cost us a combo. If I had slipped to here first, then we'd be encouraging this guy to draw up on us. As it is, I think he's going to move to here. How many enemies do we have left? We, we suspect there will be two more. Well, sorry, one more beyond this guy. And he's dropping in right now. I actually am going to do this. But yeah, that was definitely... I should have slipped first. Because I want to create a situation where they... Can they not move? Is that is that the problem that we're facing here? I'm going to pass the turn. I want to see what they'll do. And we're not on the timer for this one or anything. Okay, they can move a little bit. This guy maybe can't move. He's certainly not moving, at the very least. I'll just, uh, I'll just step to here. I'm gonna make him come around the corner. Maybe they distribute, like, two points of movement between them? Nope, they're just, <laughs> they're just too smart for my shenanigans. They will not come to me. Alright, fair enough. We're going to have to make the approach. Oh yeah, I definitely should have free moved first. What am I doing? Uh, and then... Since we're zeroed out on combo anyway, I think I will step to here and see if we can get them to shoot each other. Did I get grapple? I did. Okay. It is a little bit of a shame, the way these are positioned. We're not going to be able to grapple this guy and then uh, wall jump punch him. Because we move him to a position adjacent to us, not adjacent to him. Although, I suppose... Actually, if we... Free movement to here. No, this isn't going to work. Because we'd need to separate, then step in, then grapple, then do the jump punch. Which we just cannot do. What I can do, though, I suppose, is slip here, jump punch him like that. Everybody knows the higher up your punch is, the more dangerous it is. And then, like, I think I would rather grapple this guy to this position than solve this in any other way. And I want to, I think, let's build cam, uh, yeah, build combo rather than the, the separate, because the separate's not going to do any damage. So you have eight points of armor. Okay, that's fine by me. If that's where you want to make your stand, I think I can work with that. It is never going to not be fun to kick enemies out of the level. That's going to be good every single time. <clears throat> okay, that's interesting. Push target one tile to the left or right of their current position. To my left or right, I assume. Although, you know, the, the fact that it sort of shows you approaching him from the side does make it a little ambiguous. I think this is... I think we're in kind of a similar state here where we don't really want to take on any of these cards, although jumping back kick is great. I don't feel like we want a bunch of them because our combo's, our combo's not that high frequently enough. And I think shove is, shove is narrower than grapple to a degree that makes the other decision correct here. Can I? Yes, I can kick you guys over the railing. That is excellent news. Wow. Uh, and we're going to have to, apparently. Uh, did I get a slip? I did get a slip. Thank God. Uh, so, I mean, there's no way this is wrong, right? And then... Is there ever going to be a situation where we have access to a wall jump punch and I don't want to do it? It's hard to imagine. So we only have two momentum left. It's like Steel Self and Heavy Strike for the kill over just build combo. It's gotta be, right? It's gonna be a lot easier to get my briefcase if everybody's unconscious. So 
So they want me to knock two enemies out of the arena. We are in position to take one down right now. Let's just boot you out of here. That's pretty fun. Um, and then <clears throat> we could dash over to here, but I, you know, I do want this guy to come to me. So what is, what is this reward? I don't remember. Is that, that's momentum up, right? No, no, momentum up would, oh, I mean, this is momentum. Yeah, that's momentum up. That's like the most important reward. So let's make 100% sure we get that briefcase, I guess, is my, <laughs> my biggest concern. Uh, I'm not even gonna hit this guy. He's the last enemy. We're gonna we're gonna position manipulate him a little bit here, and I'm gonna grab my briefcase. I'm sure that the design intent is that if you finish the level before hitting this timer, then you get credit. But you know, early access, and I just want to make absolutely certain. Uh, so we don't have a push. Well, I'm just going to move to here then and pass. We're, we're going to push this guy off. One dude by himself is not much of a threat to us. Uh, push target to the left. So if I slip to here, that would work. Can I make that happen without killing him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem at all. So the three-punch combo gets us there. And then... That's pretty cool. That's a fun thing to get to do. Yeah, plus one maximum momentum is real good. Two tiles of movement for free, except minus five health is not free. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip here. Minus five health, that's like very serious, actually. That is a hell of a price to pay. Hey, this looks substantially similar. Uh, and same rewards, in fact. Plus one maximum momentum, again, is real compelling. Very, very good stuff. Sadly, we did not open with a, uh, a push. And I don't... I don't think we're going to be able to put the combo together for the spin kick. Yeah. I mean, I, I can slip here and wall punch that guy. And then a hope, I guess, from there. Yeah, that's a real bummer <laughs> that we didn't draw two ways of increasing combo. This is always going to be the danger with a with a combo strategy, right? So, okay, a slip, grapple, separate, <laughs> does the job. We get there for one of them, and then I guess I just steal up and let's see what happens. I should have jabbed that guy before separating for um, for maximum combo output. Auto attack this. Uh, and then there's no reason for us to do anything other than just run past this dude as best we can. Unfortunately, all I can actually do here is step one side. I was not taking this seriously enough. I could have walked over to him and just... No, that's eight damage, and he would have pushed us back. I was, I was thinking, like, maybe we could just trade. We could have just traded. Uh, yeah. I don't actually get this. Well, that sucks. I got all, I got all distracted by the, by the kicking people out of the arena thing, because it's very fun. All right, so let's open with a pole. Heavy Strike plus Quick Strike plus is a lot of damage. Alright, time to find out. Yes, okay, you do You do properly get the reward. I figured, but again, early access, you know. Move up to two tiles, gain one combo, and you must attack before the end of the turn or lose health and combo. I would like it if this had uh, numbers on the loss there. Lose how much health? Because honestly, a, a zero-cost move that also gives you combo seems real good, right? I think this is absolutely good enough to fit in our deck, especially since we're about to be able to cut stuff out. Out of curiosity, if we upgrade that, what happens? I 
<laughs> okay, nothing obvious. I assume that it changes the amount of health loss, probably. But since it doesn't have that reported on the card, who knows? What about um, option play? Does it just get free? No, it gains four damage and no movement. Okay, well... If we're going to remove stuff, what do we want to remove? I think that, like, we could just straight up take step out at this point. Basically just replaced it with the movement card we just took. And then do I... Oh, a second removal would be very expensive. Never mind. Yeah, let's definitely... Ooh, next two attacks get buffed. Yeah, that's actually maybe the right card. <clears throat> that seems very good. With a lot of these, it's just going to be add a little bit of damage or um, or make it free. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I think that is all right. The fact that the buff persists between turns, which is not, I think, the way that a lot of games of this type would do that, makes that card way better than I had assumed it would be on first glance. <clears throat> okay, we got the chef here. And remember, the chef heals people, and also he will chop me real good if I let him. So we have two movements. How do I want to do this? So he, he doesn't auto attack, right? Yeah. Uh... I don't really want to just step away, but I think that's maybe where we're at. I think it's going to be really hard for us to do anything terribly meaningful here. We like, we free move to here. We light this guy up a little bit and then we just option play backward. Yeah, I have a ton of, I guess we can probably actually get to jumping back kick because we have so much momentum. Let's do this to load up even more momentum for next turn. Give him one of these. Or, you know, three of them, whatever. May as well quick strike. No sense in not quick striking. And then, can we just kill him? Yeah, option play into jumping back kick just does the whole thing this turn. It is possible that I have been given too much momentum. Okay, I can work with this. Do we have pull? We do have pull. That's very exciting. Am I allowed to jump off of one enemy to punt? No, I'm not allowed to. Okay. <laughs> That's a shame. So it's like... What's the what's the order of attacks here? I guess that that's a little awkward. I can't just step backward and then pull this guy, because he'll still stab me before he gets shot. But what we can do... There's not really a good way to take advantage of grapple here, I don't think. Well, I wonder if this guy's still... If he's going to attack in the direction of his facing... If we move to, er, if we move to here and then grappled him from here to there... Grapple makes them face directly away from you, right? So you'd be facing his friend. That might actually work. Whatever, it's almost certainly correct to just, um, to just, like, throw up a heavy strike. Like, free movement back. Pull this guy. Heavy strike and then backdash. Because right now he's not going to die. We can, we can make sure he goes down. Or do I want to dash here so that this dude will, will aim at us? I actually do like that better. And we're going to intentionally not front, front kick because we can't do it without ruining our brilliant plan. Alright, I do like being handed an immediate virtuous circle. What is my... We don't, have a, we don't, we don't actually have much damage here. It might be... 
Yeah, it might be as simple as like slip slip. I think it probably is. We'll slip like this first. And then free move back. I should have, sorry, I should have jabbed him first. But obviously I'm thinking like we're just going to do this and this and then pass. We're going to hope for a better go next round here. <clears throat> okay, this is definitely a thing I can work with. So. We can use front kick to open up space. Yeah, like if we front kick this guy... Dash into the vacated space and then grapple him to here. That's pretty bad news for everybody. Everyone involved. Oh, this guy hits for 11 though, so he'll kill him before... I was hoping that we could get them to trade blows. Um, But then like also... Also, I do want a 540 with 11 combo points. It just it feels like I should, even though that makes the... That makes the enemies not do as much damage to each other, and I do love it when the enemies do damage to each other. That was such a huge amount of... How could I, how could I not, I ask you? Uh, so... This guy's got 26 health. I mean, like, steal self. Next attack deals double damage. We're gonna we're gonna test something real quick here. Okay, so the whole card is the attack. It's good to know. Um, and then we just slip around him and heavy strike him out. Right, because we weren't gonna be able to get this guy either way. I don't think. All right, tell me I got a little bit better movement. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. So we'll free move this way. Dynamic move. Yo! Ten! The number is ten! Holy shit! All right, well, now we know. Don't mess around with that. I think that thing is not a joke. But, it is, I mean, it's true. Gotta act. Oh, I don't think that's going to save you. I think you're going to have to try a little bit harder than that. And then I have even more follow-up. Actually, front kick... Front kick has a step forward on it. If you use it on someone two tiles away, doesn't it? I probably didn't need to do that. Convert three times your combo into block. It's interesting. So, the prison van is definitely a dangerous fight. Yeah, we're doing it, though. I think this deck behaves a little bit better in really small spaces, like... Spaces that are small relative to this game's understanding of space than our previous one did. Oh, this is a disappointing open, though. Alright. Set up the hook kick. May as well drop a jab in. And then we just slip out on the dude. Steal up and wait. Have two enemies kill other enemies is not a trivial one to get to. But I think that's a max health increase, so I do really want it. Uh, this would have been a great time to have a grapple. Well, there's gonna be one more enemy. I think I'm actually just gonna front kick this one dude out of the out of the van. Alright, maybe I'm gonna use separate for that. Yeah, let's use separate. Cause front kick does so much damage, you know. Like it's probably just front kick this guy against the wall so he's quite low. That gets him down to, yeah, 18. I suppose we, we can even throw in another hit here. We may as well get him really low. And then... Virtuous Circle. And dash to here, I think? 
I know this is going to get me completely surrounded, but that's actually kind of what we want. So we want the shotgun guy to be aiming at someone else. That did not work. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. Um, jumping back kick does get me a push, but it's just going to kill somebody straight up. Like, Yeah, this did not work out the way I wanted. Well, left spin kick moves this guy to here. And then I can put myself all the way in the corner in case I've learned nothing. What's left in my deck? We're definitely going to draw next turn a grapple. Which should make it relatively easy. I can't believe I'm, I'm looking at this uh, expand your max combo meter reward and thinking, oh yeah, that, that actually seems great. I'm, I'm, I'm way into that. Uh, we don't have a gentle push forward, so I can't I can't get this guy off of us without killing him. So um, really, I'm really I'm playing with fire here. And then I stepped back into the corner on purpose. Is that really where we're going? I'm gonna drop this first. Get that guy down to down to a point where everything kills him, and then yup. Fingers crossed I don't regret this a tremendous amount. So he gets that kill, and then we just we have to get them to finish each other off. We did not get a um We did not get a slip. I was really hopeful. Because we have two of them, right? Yeah, they're just both still in there. Okay, so I think that that kills the dream then, because I can't get these guys off of me without killing one of them. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is true. Okay, oh well. I mean, listen, it's not the end of the world. We just don't get all of our upgrades all the time. I did want that, though. It is only plus two max health, I guess. Uh, stun all incoming attackers. Discard one, retain one is actually a thing that we might use sometimes, but not frequently. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip. I don't think any of those are compelling enough to dilute the deck for. All right, the shotgunners have gotten a lot more spry all of a sudden. So. Have two enemies kill other enemies again? Like, it would be nice to actually be getting these bonuses. We're going to get four total enemies. So unfortunately, we do not have a way of compelling this guy into the space here. This guy will take four damage from his buddy's shotgun from the, from the push part of it. So I guess right now the best thing for us is just... Soften this dude up a little bit and then step out of the way while we, we wait for the more relevant cards to show up. Let them have at each other. All right. Hey, what a surprise. It's a very similar outcome. Who could have foreseen this? Um. So, what order do they, do they fire in? This guy shoots first. That's ideal. So, actually, this turn, step back, Paul, is really quite good. So, that's lethal, right? Because this guy will shoot for 14, and then this guy will shoot for 10. So, all I have to do is not be standing right here. And it's probably a good idea for us to get a little bit out of the corner anyway. I should have front kicked. Yeah. Yeah, I made a small error there. <clears throat> well, it's still actually doable, though. Slip, front kick, and then option play to step out to the side. Now this guy kills the mid-prisoner, and then this guy shoots his buddy, which doesn't actually help us. But it makes him 
Puts him a little closer to... Oh, no, actually, didn't even break through his shield. Yeah, I, need, I needed to hit him with the front kick for, like, optimal value. No grapple, no sidekick. Both of which would be really nice here. Well, I think all there is for it is just to... Uh, I really don't want to kill any uh, either of them, though, you know? So we got to be a little smart. Let's just try to put a little bit of damage on... I guess, actually... A front kick barely does anything here. And then we, we hook kick. So now he's low enough that he could go down to a thing. And we just slip out of the way. It's a shame there's no way to there's no way to get to Virtuous Circle without the kill. And I don't think I don't think killing him is worth playing the circle. Okay, left spin kick totally gets us where we're going, right? Because it'll strip his shield. Yeah. It'll strip his uh, shield and somebody entering. Yeah, that guy, that guy is now primed, so that's lethal. And that finishes our mission, so now we can start fighting properly again. Uh, we may as well soften this guy up a little bit. So we can... We can separate. Oh, that's a kill zone out there. I didn't realize that that... Okay, well... Well, that's not ideal. Uh, steal self and pass. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see the hazard shoot. It's fine. It's fine. We can still do it. We just gotta get these guys into each other now. Um, free movement to here... Alright, this should create a situation where it's at least possible to get the shotgun guy pointed at his friend. And I'm gonna I'm gonna three punch combo just to get some some combo back in case we pull a uh in case we pull a like a sidekick or something. Okay, do I have I don't have a grapple. I guess grapple's not what I need in this situation anyway. I think we just back up one space and... I mean, this is not awesome, because obviously he'll move to here and then Shotgun Guy will move over in a way that's really awkward. Maybe I need to get closer to the Shotgun. Maybe I should have slipped. I definitely... I, I should have slipped so much that I think it's still worth doing it. Even though it's a little... it's a little costly. Yeah, this was the right way to do this. Okay, so now I have to get four points of health off of you. Oh, this is a little awkward, though, because now my movement is, um... I don't know, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. So we front kick him to get him low enough to die from the shotgun blast. Now dynamic move is our only remaining movement, which obviously creates a gotta act issue, but grappling the shotgun guy to here... Doesn't doesn't kill God to act really? Okay, well there we go. Now we're clear. There we go. We got there. And this guy only has fourteen health, which is not the amount of health that he wants to have in this situation. Got to keep those helmets flying. Move one tile, increase combo by one. Frankly. This might be better than dynamic move for most of our purposes. Deal 8 damage twice and advance at range 2. I honestly do think that this is kind of good. Also, who doesn't love two jump kicks? I'm going to take this. We need a lot of movement tools. Because we're, our deck is so combo heavy, we really want to do a lot of movements that don't cost combo. Alright, scary dude. This, what is scary dude? Oh, right, he's the one who has counterattack. One of the prison boss's top lieutenants, in fact. Uh, well... I wish we had... Uh, left kick. So we can... We can just do a slip. It's not so bad. Pull, turn stuff to face you, yeah. 
So we don't want to, like, step here and then pull him. He doesn't have auto attack, right? Okay, so we can build a little bit of combo here, then 540, and then slip out. That gives us a pretty solid 540. Oh, I should have punched him. That was silly. I should absolutely have punched this guy with option. I'm I'm thinking of option already. I'm just thinking of it as a um as a move, really. So how does this guy counter counter attackers within one tile range? So you want to hit him from he doesn't turn to face you automatically, so you just gotta hit him from the side or from a distance. Hmm. Let's hook this guy for lethal. And then, I, I suppose that could have been a jab too. That probably should have been a jab. How much does he hit for? Eight damage. Um, I might just dynamic move over to here and give this guy a little bit of a thrashing. So jab him to drop. First of all, to drop gotta act, but secondly also just to load up. Front kick him back, and then the double jump kick is lethal from there, right? Okay, this is good. This is a good situation to be in here. So, I think what we do is free move back to here, slip, and then, yeah, just like really let this guy have it. Oh, I have steel self. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch this guy for 80 damage. That seems like a smart move. Uh, and then like, virtuous circle and just let this other dude come over to me. I was kind of hoping to draw the 540, but I suppose this will work. Yeah, the amount of damage we deal is very silly. Uh, that doesn't really seem all that good. Now that we have multiple attacks that hit multiple times, something like body hardening is definitely more compelling than it used to be. Honestly, I don't think this is really a problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip taking a really good card because I just don't think we need any of those. Need or want, frankly. Uh, I guess we're going shower block. We could go prison landing event to the gym, but I think I'm gonna go shower block prison because you know what? Again, fighting. Fighting is more fun than events. Okay, this one looks like it, get, it could get a little ugly. Get five combo for money. Oh, I think we'll figure that out, probably. Something tells me that that could happen. So... We have a pair of front kicks. That's a little awkward. We don't really want to apply two front kicks, because then it's hard to move out of the shotgun blast. I guess dynamic move gives you two movement. Maybe the thing I should actually be doing is like free move to here, dynamic move to there, and just start working this guy from the side. Let's see, it will take... Yeah, it'll, it'll take... Actually, he'll take everything and he won't even die. So let's not spend anything on anybody else here. Bounce him off that wall a couple of times, and then the uh, the uh, option play gets him to one, which is a little unfortunate. But we're just stacking combo. Also, apparently, a lot of blood comes out of a dude when you shoot him with a shotgun. Who'd have thought? Uh, so I wish we had a push of some kind. This would be a really good time to you know just make a little bit of space here. Uh, what I can do is. This is a little awkward. 
we can slip. Yeah, I don't think this isn't going to be quite as exciting of a turn as I might like, I don't think. Let's just, like, quick strike this dude. May as well finish it off. And then, like, part of me wants to slip this way and try to put together a thing. Basically, I just want to get to use my jump, oh, my wall jump punch. I suppose he only does 14 damage. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. We haven't been using a lot of surprise attack, but actually... Actually, I think this is a really solid moment for it. Worth noting that guy hit us for 15, not 14, so they do gain their damage at the start of their turn. It's a thing that to make sure we are factoring in. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine that we're going to have a hard time finishing this guy off. And in fact, we even get the extremely satisfying jumping back kick out of the stage. Alright, I'm just going to super prep and <laughs> let this guy run over here and get ruined. Alright, come here. 80.540. I do love to hit an enemy for approximately 80 damage. Ooh, pocket sand. We've passed an enemy, deal 10 damage and one push. Like Akira from Virtua Fighter. I kind of love that, actually. More ways of moving past people are really... We're taking that. I think pocket sand also seems very good. But this is, this is a cool move that gives us some fun options. I do need to watch the size of my deck, though. We're going to start getting real unreliable here. Uh-oh. What is this? This is a new guy. Deals 12 damage up to three tiles away. Okay, and obviously <laughs> protect the Ambassador as best you can. They consider the Ambassador to be highly vulnerable, and I have to say, I agree. That makes sense to me. So, you only have 24 health, though. So, we can pretty easily kill one of these guys, but I need to be real careful with the Ambassador here. I think what we're going to probably... Gosh, I wish we had more ways of moving enemies around this turn. This is kind of what I was saying with the, um, the unreliability. The only way we have of moving anyone is left spin kick. And we can't actually... Okay. So, option play for combo. Then heavy strike for combo. Then slip. This is going to hurt. I, I am going to take damage here. But, like, slip to here. Then left spin kick the ambassador out of the way of their attack. I get hit by one guy. This guy doesn't quite reach him. How much damage do you do? 12? Well, a dynamic move won't get me out of the way anyway. Yeah, I guess I'm just eating 12 damage. We'll get healed up if we successfully protect the ambassador, so it's not so bad. I have maybe created a situation where that's going to be challenging, though. So... Upgraded Surprise Attack is going to be really solid. So I think the Ambassador is just getting rocked this round. I don't, I don't realistically think we can stop that. Uh, so I can Front Kick into Double Jump Kick, which doesn't quite finish this guy off unless I steal Self. So let's, let's do the Front Kick normally. Then steal self so that we we have a little bit of carry over here because he goes down. Uh, he goes down even if we only do one double. And then we may as well virtuous circle. And I think I'm actually going to. I think I'm gonna dash over here and um, surprise attack this guy. Let's just take somebody off the table.
Plus, this has the advantage of making the enemies not necessarily want to be near the uh, ambassador. Uh, we don't have enough push to get this guy off the map. You're kind of in an awkward spot. I actually can't really fight you. Yeah, I suppose what I have this turn is like... Am I going to regret doing this? Putting myself in the corner like this? Seems possible, right? We'll go ahead and hook kick for a ton of momentum and then pass. Okay, that's not too bad. I was a little worried this guy, unable to target us, would just move down and hit the ambassador. If he's not going to do that, I think we're 100% fine. There we go. That's not a lethal railing, but it's still a railing. Uh, and then I can actually... I can option play to a position where the 540 works. That 540 is incredible. That has really become one of our best cards. Uh, <clears throat> do one damage per combo level three times. I mean... Overstuff in the deck for sure. Add six block, deal six damage to all incoming melee attackers this turn. That, and it looks like it has a real fun animation. Maybe sort, sort of a James Bond kind of vibe. Activating your personal taser. Uh, so let's take out one of the least compelling things we have. What is what is what is not really working for us? To be perfectly honest with you, hook kick is wasted a lot of the time. We have so much momentum now. Like, I very rarely run out of momentum with plays still in our deck. So I think I'm going to pull this card that just does 8 damage. That doesn't actually seem all that good for us now. And then we're going to... Okay, Unleash doubles in damage when you level it up. That's interesting. What does option play become? Oh, right, right, right. We looked at that. We just looked at that. Slip becomes free, which is fine. This gains 6 damage. Wow, jumping back kick goes up to 25 base. I think I'm going to take that. No, I'm not. That's 140 uh, fight dollars. I assume that these are not, like, <laughs> supposed to be... A, I know that that's a real-world currency symbol, but, like, it doesn't make any sense for this to be actual money within the fiction of the game, right? Unless this whole thing is happening on some kind of Manhunt-style show. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to... Save our cash. Actually, I guess I don't. Our cash probably doesn't carry over to the next area, does it? Oh well, whatever. Didn't really think about that until after I'd pressed the button. All right, what manner of boss have you for me? This guy. His name is Max Security. Fifteen damage pushes target one. Has an auto attack. Will turn to face the player. Okay. He's got some challenging stuff. And we have very poor movement this turn, unfortunately. This might be... Boy, this might be a turn where we just don't do very much. Like, it's probably free movement. And if I step here, he'll turn to face me, right? But I don't know for sure if that will immediately trigger his auto attack. I guess let's find out. No, it didn't. Okay, so now we can separate him. There we go. And then I guess I just steal up. Hooray, teamwork. So yeah, into a backslam, I think that's sensible here. That's a really... I'm very pleased that we have access to that move. That seems very good for us. Unfortunately, we don't really have a good way of taking advantage of his position now. I could pull him, but that's going to result in me getting hit for sure. So... Here, let's option play to there. Slip into a jab front kick combo. Okay, 
pushing an enemy onto another enemy does activate, or pushing an enemy with auto attack towards somebody does activate their auto attack. I think that's a thing that I had I had unresolved questions about. This guy's still got fifty health. We have eight turns if we wanna if we wanna catch the um, what do you call it the um, bonus objective. So I could take a little bit of healing as, lo as long as it allows me to get the job done quickly. Well, with no slip, I think we're in kind of an awkward spot this round. This guy's just, he's weird to fight. Okay, let's free move to here. Dynamic to there. And then we'll unleash on this guy before we do the wall jump punch just for combo. All right, that, that lets us pass with 14 up. That seems like a good place to start. So what can I do this round? What, what kind of horrifying things can I accomplish? I wish I had surprise attack. would be really, really nice. Uh, a slip here seems unwise. I mean, we could just 540 this guy, right? 36, yeah. It'll eat my whole combo, but it does put me in a better position to actually act. I would love it if we could get the boss into a position where I could just kick him out of the level. I think that would be wonderful. Uh, I don't necessarily want to... I guess one thing we could do here is step in and just heavy strike at a distance. Oh, wait. Does heavy... I thought heavy strike... It forces an advance. I, I was misremembering. Oh, God. Our cards don't discard in any kind of order. Yep, it's advanced. I I thought we had we had a punch attack that did approximately that much damage that actually hit at two range before. Well, that was dumb. Hopefully, we'll be able to heal that off with the uh, the secondary objective here. Okay, I like this slip a lot. Actually, it's not that good, is it? <laughs> Unfortunately. So this does push the target, but there's no way for us to set this up on him. I guess all we're doing is, like, slipping and then slipping. There it is. There it is. Okay, plus 20 health. That does, in fact, solve my problems. How was your stay? Oh, punchful, you know. I imagine you found something to do to pass the time. And I guess that's moving us on to fighting a secretive ninja clan. Well, I'm sure this is going to go just as smoothly. Wasn't expecting to have to say this, but Berlin has a ninja problem. I don't know. It seems pretty normal to me. They're infiltrating all layers of the criminal underworld. Let's try to put a cap on this before it becomes a local problem, too. One block per enemy on turn start. Interesting. I don't think that that is going to be all that relevant, but I suppose... We might have enemies hitting hard enough that this plus surprise attack is just enough block to let surprise attack actually work. It may be the case that we're, we're real happy we have this. Uh, for the moment, though, I do believe we are out of time for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, tomorrow, ninjas, I guess. That'll be fun. And we'll see you then.